Oliver Peterson in Surabaya, thank you. Well, now to the amazing scenes on the harbour as more than one and a half million people gather to welcome in the new year. We have reporters in the best vantage points right across Sydney. Vicky Jardim begins our coverage. The race was on for 2015. Crowds on the home straight to one of the best seats in the city for tonight's mega fireworks display. Go, go, go! Go! And the empty space didn't last long with all gearing up for a party. Happy New Year! Thousands camped out for days to secure a prime spot. When did you get here? Oh, uh, Monday. For those who've been waiting since the start of the week, there was plenty of time to catch up on Miss Sleep or just get into a festive mood. It's an iconic night, isn't it? That's why we're in Sydney. It's the main reason we're in Sydney for Christmas and New Year, to see the fireworks. On a beautiful Sydney summer's day, the best spot was under the shade. So they've definitely taken the buzz out of the heat. By midday, there were still huge queues to get into Sydney's favourite vantage points, with many full to capacity by early afternoon. Chockers. Kirribilli resembled more of a tent city, with hundreds popping up along the foreshore. Inspiration is a theme for this year's spectacle. This city is a glorious muse and you only have to look at it to know why. It is a glorious city. It's easy to be inspired by this city. A staggering seven tonnes of fireworks will explode at 9pm for the family display, at 10.40 for the Inspire moment, and then when the clock strikes midnight. And I hope that Sydney Siders will come down and, and uh, be inspired by uh, the fireworks that we to do tonight, uh, as well as uh, all of Australia and uh, the rest of the world. For those who can't make it, in a world first, drones will be recording the fireworks, giving people watching at home breathtaking views of the display. In another first, tonight the bridge will be illuminated with people's tweets and New Year's messages to their loved ones around the world. During the display, those caught up in the enormous events of the past few weeks will be remembered and honoured. It is in memory of, of the two very young and talented people that we lost because of that siege. Away from the city but still with breathtaking views, it was a more leisurely start to New Year's Eve. We're setting up early so that we can get a good vantage point. Though it may not be such a happy New Year for some, and while everyone celebrates, spare a thought for these guys. Their job is to clean the thousands of portaloos. Poobin and scoobin. But for the rest of us, it'll be a fun-filled start to 2015. Happy New Year! Well, Vicky Jardim joins us now from Kirribilli. Vicky, as you reported, it was a very early start for many people, so are there any spaces left? Well, Georgie, behind me is certainly one of the best spots to see the New Year's Eve fireworks. I'm here along the Kirribilli foreshore where thousands have been jostling for prime position. Unfortunately, most of the best spots have been taken, so if you haven't left home yet, then you probably left your run a little bit too late. There are a few spots at the back, but there'll be limited views of the fireworks. But whatever the case, Georgie, it looks like it's going to be a spectacular New Year's Eve. Yeah, it does indeed. All right, Vicky, thank you. One of the best places to ring in the New Year is on the water, and that's where our reporter Ellie Walsh joins us from. Ellie, describe what it's like out there on the harbour. Georgie, it is absolutely magnificent. Uh, we've got prime position centre stage here for one of the best shows in Australia. 13 knot winds, beautiful blue skies and it's quickly turning into party central out here. Now all vessels do need to be in place by 8pm because of that no, because of that exclusion zone which is in place until 12.45 when the mad rush home begins and these calm waters quickly turn to chop and police are asking all vessels and all skippers to respect that no wash six knots rule and Georgie after a day spent out on the water I have to say the best way to ring in the new year is ringing wet. This is a city that knows all about fire and water. Happy new year! The harbour a front row berth and the perfect arena for the greatest show on earth. There's nothing better than Sydney at this time of the year or any time of the year. No crowds, no queues, no qualms. Instead, these yachts just moseyed on up and dropped anchor, ready for the action, right above their heads. 
and you've only got to look over your shoulder here and you can, you know, the, the view's fantastic. From midday, most had their posse. The top spots, Balm Cove and Athol Bay, but really every angle was top notch. Best harbour in the world. And as the countdown to midnight dwindled down, most were happy to just lay back and lap it up. Boaties had their beer, more sophisticated sailors sipped champagne. Yeah. And if that didn't float your boat, others made the most of a line and reel. Back flipping into 2015, the water temperature, balmy, according to this bloke. Better in than now. And where better to find an Olympic swimmer than on the water? It's exciting. It's basically in Sydney for the fireworks, so it's a pretty fun atmosphere out here. As for the water police, their message was clear, with 50 patrols cruising the harbour, making sure everything was above board. The rules on the road for drink driving are identical to that on the water. And if you thought the best spot to watch the fireworks had already been snapped up by this super yacht, you thought wrong. Pull up a paddle and sidle up starboard side. There may be more than 3,000 boats, but there's still plenty of water to go round. Early Walsh, Nine News. For our police officers, there will be no time for celebration. It's their busiest night of the year. 3,000 are on patrol across Sydney, keeping a close eye on crowds and determined to prevent drunken violence. Showing off their wares and warning the millions of partygoers they'll be watching. Paul Air floating above the harbour using military grade cameras to pounce on any sign of trouble. Yeah, there's a lot of police around, especially given what's been going on, so it's good to, you know, feel safe. It's a quick radio call to the Sydney Police Centre and there are thousands of officers across the city ready to handcuff anybody who steps out of line. If someone needs to go in the bin, they're going in the bin. The tolerance level for antisocial behaviour is zero. Every arm of the New South Wales Police Force is being used tonight. Plainclothes officers, the riot squad, even police on four legs. And if you drive tonight, the message is don't drink. Every police car can test you and there will be plenty out and about. Circular Quay, The Rocks, Mrs Macquarie's chair and right around the harbour foreshore. Not only will there be eyes and ears on the ground, but a central control point that orchestrates every movement in a job that's been months in the making. TCP8, OK, here we go. A team of men and women in blue with one mission, to keep Sydney safe. Chris O'Keefe joins us now from The Rocks. And Chris, it's not only our police who'll be busy tonight. It's not, Georgie. Several hundred paramedics will be scattered across the city to help anyone who may need them. And considering alcohol and New Year's Eve do go hand in hand, there might be a few who do. I am joined by Inspector Jordan Emery from the New South Wales Ambulance Service. And Jordan, Jordan what are you expecting this evening? So, of course, this is uh, the busiest night of the year for New South Wales Ambulance. And as such, we've spent months planning for this event. Uh, we've doubled our workforce and we've strategically located paramedics uh, at various points uh, on land, at sea and uh, in our helicopters throughout Sydney and the state. And if somebody does need help, what's your advice to them? Well, our advice to everyone this evening is, most importantly, look after your mates, look after your family and look after those that's with you tonight. Uh, St John's Ambulance as well as Ambulance are around the city uh, to assist you. Uh, we'd ask you to stay calm, uh, call triple zero if it is a medical emergency uh, and uh, allow us to help you uh, in, in do our job. So there you go Georgie, the overall message from emergency services tonight is enjoy your New Year's Eve, just enjoy it safely. Yeah, good advice. Chris, thank you very much. Well, celebrations are picking up pace in Parramatta. Reporter Mike Dalton is at the River Foreshore and Mike, how's the crowd looking there? Georgie, 20 kilometres upriver from the harbour is Sydney's original settlement of Parramatta. And here they're celebrating the New Year's Eve in two locations. One here at Foreshore Park on the river and a little bit further upstream at the old parade grounds at the King's School. Now, it's not as busy here as it is in the city, but certainly there was a big batch of early birds who picked up prime posies for tonight's events. Well played. You've got the best posy. Absolutely. Yeah, we left about... I don't know, midday from Penrith and decided Parramatta was a better option than Sydney. Sydney last year was really, really crowded and loud and we thought this might be a bit better entertainment. The fireworks go for, you know, 15, 20 minutes so you feel like you get your, your money's worth and you are so close to home you don't have to battle public transport. 
The celebrations will kick off at 9pm this evening with fireworks, a laser display, plus fire painting, which I'm intrigued to see. And, uh, and later on, uh, there will be a unique element of the Parramatta New Year's Eve, which is the combination jet ski fireworks show. Can't wait for that one. Thanks, Georgie. <laughs> you enjoy, Dalt. Happy New Year. Thank you. All right. I think it's probably time to have a look at the weather. Here's Davina. Good evening, Georgie. Good evening to you at home. Well, it was a warm night across Sydney. The temperature, it barely moved on the harbour. In fact, it was warmer at 11pm with a temperature of 23 degrees than what it was all day. Now, today the city hit a top of 25 degrees and 29 in Penrith. There were a few very light showers this morning. Nothing much in it, though, less than a millimetre. We can expect showers and the chance of storms over the weekend. And with that will come a couple of scorching days for our west. I'll have those details for you soon, plus the latest on the forecast for the midnight fireworks and Georgie, the all-important New Year's Day forecast. It's looking good. OK, good. See you soon, Davina. Thank you. In the news ahead, a man shot at Condell Park. Is Sydney experiencing a new wave of gun crime? Also stepping up protection for the soldiers who guard the royal family. Record crowds for the world's biggest party.